Okay, I'm going to take you through a break-even question. Uh, before you actually do it though, it's really important that you look at my Prezi I used in class last week and also the Slide Rocket presentation which takes you through break-even uh, in more detail and especially if you weren't here last week, it's really essential that you look at it. This is just an extra question which I'm going to take you through to help you draw, draw a chart and actually calculate the break-even point. This is the question we're going to use. Um, it's about a market trader called Carl who makes teddy bears and he sells each bear for £19. The cost of making the bear is £14 and his fixed costs relating to the renting of the store and wages are £200. With this information, these three numbers, we're going to calculate the break-even point for Carl. Now, if you remember, well, how do you calculate the break-even point? There's a formula which looks like this. You get your fixed costs and you divide it by your selling price per unit minus your variable cost per unit and basically you get that information from the sheet we just looked at before. If we put the numbers in, the fixed cost is 200, that's the store rental on the wages. The selling price was 19 and the variable cost was 14. Okay, we need to put that into the formula, that ends up as being 5, so it's essentially 200 divided by 5 which gives you 40 bears. Now remember it's not 40, it's 40 bears and what it means is he has to sell 40 bears to break even so he'll make no profits and no losses. Now in the exam I advise you when you're practicing you need to do a quick little table which looks like this. You need to complete a chart, um, a table which is going to help you draw your break even chart and what we need to do, we need to calculate the sales revenue, the variable cost, the fixed costs and the total costs at the break even level of sales. So we know it's 40 bears, so if he sells 40 bears he'll make £760 if each one sells for £19. Variable costs 560 same calculation but with £14 times 40. Fixed costs are given to you in the question and the total cost therefore if you add your variable costs and your fixed costs together you get £760. If you notice the uh, sales revenue box highlighted yellow and the total cost box highlighted yellow as well are exactly the same number we should tell you that okay at this point if he sells 40 bears his revenue would totally cover his cost with nothing left over hence the, the meaning to break even. Okay, We're going to use this information to draw the actual break even chart on the graph and we're going to draw three lines. The three lines relate to fixed costs, sales revenue and total costs. Now you need to watch my other video to do this because otherwise I'll run out of time on this particular um, video. So once you've looked at that, understood everything I've done on here, then watch my second video which shows how to draw the break-even chart.